Okay, welcome to this presentation on finding the vertex of a parabola. We're going to build on the concept of axis of symmetry, and uh, it's got a lot of good, you know, applications. Later on, you have to find the minimal, maximum value of a of a uh, quadratic. If you can find your vertex, you found your minimum or maximum value. So, you know, step one here, we're going to find the coordinate of the vertex. You know, there's we're going to do two examples. One is we're going to use the zeros of the graph. And the other one, we're going to use the uh, axis of symmetry formula. But once we get that x value, you know, we're going to do some work. And it's going to turn out that x is equal to some number. And once we know what that x is, you know, x is equal to some number, right? We're going to plug that in. And then we're going to figure out what y is, right? So y is going to be some number. And then finally, we're going to write it as an ordered pair. All right, so final answer is going to look something like this. So let's get started. This graph here is the graph of y is equal to negative x squared minus 2x. But this is going to have a maximum value because notice your graph opens down. If you remember from a previous presentation, if the graph opens down and you got a highest point that's your maximum number so we know that whatever we get for this vertex this graph can't be bigger than that like you so let's uh figure it out so we know here are zeros going to mark them so you got negative two plus zero divided by two is going to give us negative two over negative over a positive 2, which gives us a negative 1, right? So we know x is equal to negative 1. And that makes sense, right? So now, we want to take this negative 1, we're going to plug into our formula. So we got y is equal to negative, negative 1 squared minus 2x. If you're using a calculator, that 2 times negative 1, be careful, because... If you put this in your calculator, you'll get negative 1, which is not right because a negative 1 times a negative 1 is a positive 1. So let's do it this way. you got a negative 1 times a negative 1 times a negative 1. There's an understood negative 1 here. Minus 2 times negative 1. So this is going to be a negative 1 because a negative times a negative is a positive. And positive 1 times negative 1 is a negative 1. Negative 2 times a negative 2 is positive 3. So we got 2. Ah, I was getting there. That's a little mouth joke. I added a negative 2 times a negative 1 is a positive 2, which gives me a 1. So we know our vertex is negative 1. One and that that looks right, you know, and we use this formula because sometimes graphs aren't always going to be that neat, and real life applications are never that neat. Let's do another example where we don't have a graph, but we've got something that looks like say y is equal to five x squared minus ten x plus three. So here's our Here's our um, quadratic equation, 5x squared minus 10x plus 3. So we need to find the x-coordinate. So what do we do? So to find the x-coordinate, we're going to use our formula, which is negative b over 2a, or you, sometimes it's written this way, right? It's written this way. All that means is to work your problem and then whatever you come up with then at the end, take the opposite side. So here you're doing the work and you're taking the opposite sign. Here you carry the negative sign all the way through. All the way through. Either way, you'll get the same right answer at the end. So let's um, take our negative b over 2a is equal to x. And we've got our 5x squared 
minus 10x plus 3, and I'm going to use this form here. So a is equal to 5, b is equal to negative 10. You take that, it's b, right? Don't forget that minus sign. That minus sign means it's a negative 10. So you got negative 10 over 2 times 5, which would be negative 10 over 10, which would be negative 1. Put that back in my parentheses, put my negative sign out, so I get a 1, right? So x is equal to 1. And for fun, you can carry that negative sign all the way through if you want. So I'm going to take my formula. 5x squared minus 10x plus 3. I'm going to plug 1 in for x. So now I've got 5 times 1 squared minus 10 times 1 plus 3. So it gives me 5 times 1 minus 10 plus 3, which gives me 5 minus 10 plus 3, which gives me negative 5 plus 3, that's equal to negative 2. So what I know is y is equal to, and that's my y value, right? So x is 1, y is negative 2. If you're in my class and you leave it this way, I'll count off some points. To get full credit, you write it as an ordered pair as y is equal to negative 2. And that is how you find the vertex of a parabola. Enjoy.